So some of us right now are simply allowing too many people, or even just one person is too many, to determine our next step. Ooh, and this is leaving us in a place of non-expression. This is leaving us in a place of deterioration, you understand? Like there's a seed within you right now that has so much potential, all the potential in the world that is waiting to sprout, waiting to blossom. And I've been there. I've been in a place before where I allowed others to determine what I was going to do because I was afraid of what they may think. I was afraid of how they may perceive me. But there's many things that helped me shift and now I mindfully do not care what people may say or what people may think. We had to become aware of our intention, right? When we are mindful, we are aware. And if you want to start a YouTube channel or if you want to express yourself in a different way or whatever it is that you want to do, but you have been afraid of what people may say, become aware of your heart. Ask yourself, is my heart in the right place? Are my intentions in the right place? Am I leading with love? If so, then you are leaving with love. There is no need to worry of what other people may think because I always say, if someone is judging you for doing what is on your heart, for doing something that you just want to express yourself, you want to express who you are and you're not hurting anybody, you're being yourself simply, who has the problem, right? It's not you. It's not you that has the problem. It's the individual that is judging you. Now, let's say you did something wrong. Let's say you stole from somebody or, you know, you intentionally try to hurt somebody, you know, and then now you have people speaking negatively about you. It makes sense, right? The heart wasn't in the right place. But if you simply just want to be yourself, step into a position where you lead your life and stop worrying about what other people might think. Focus on your heart, become aware of your heart and your intention and ask yourself, am I leading with love? Am I doing this because I wanna do this? If so, it doesn't matter what people will think. The fact that we worry so much what people may think is really ridiculous. Now, let's say there's something you wanna do. Let's say I'm gonna use starting a YouTube channel, for example, because that's what I do. And I know a lot of people out there wanna start YouTube channels, but let's say you want to start a YouTube channel, but you're afraid of what people may think. You're afraid if you'll be good enough. You're afraid if your family will judge you. Let them, let them judge you. Let them speak negatively about you because what is in your heart right now, nobody can see. So all they are doing is judging your first step. They're not judging your heart because they don't know what is in your heart, right? This is why I say we must become mindful of our heart, of our intention. Because if you have a dream, if you have a desire, where is that? That's within. Nobody can see it. That is within you. Think about a seed that you plant into the ground, right? What does a seed have? A seed has all the life and all the potential that it needs to grow into a beautiful plant, flower, fruit tree, whatever it may be. But what, nobody can see the potential. The seed is this small. And what do you do with it? You put it into the ground where nobody can see it, into the darkness. And then you nourish it with light. You nourish it with water. So your dreams, the things that you truly want to do on this earth, they are in the soil right now, right? The seed has been planted. I always say each one of us has a gift that has been planted into our DNA, into our soul. But whose responsibility is it to nourish that gift? It's yours because you're the only one that can see it or feel it. Sometimes we don't even know what it is, but we can feel there's something within there. Like we just feel this urge, right? Our intuition is speaking to us but we're looking for approval from everybody else. But how are people going to give you the approval or affirm what they can't see? Everybody will, well, not everybody, but people will judge your first step. When I started to change my life and really transform, I was judged. I was ridiculed. You understand? People said, he is weird. <laughs> He's becoming really weird. You know, I started to grow my hair. You know, I had like, I was always very clean cut before, you know, bald fade. And, you know, 
I, I lived my life in a different way. And then I started to grow my hair and I started to change the way I eat. And, you know, I went celibate and I started to spend way more. I, I was always an introvert spending time with myself, but I completely isolated myself. And people thought I was going crazy. Like people thought I was going crazy. But I realized that there was a seed within and I had to nourish it, right? I had to nourish it so it could sprout and then one day blossom. And that's exactly what you have to realize. Who is like the most popular human being in history? I would say it's Christ, right? Christ was ridiculed. He was judged to the point he was crucified. You understand? If the most popular person in human history was criticized and ridiculed, why do you think you can move through life without receiving some type of negativity? It's a part of our journey, you understand? It's a part of our path that will make you resilient. Your gift wants to make sure that you believe in it no matter what people say, that you will follow your passion, recognize that your presence has purpose, and you will get into action, right? They are judging your first step. They don't know where your heart is. They are judging your first step. They don't know where your heart is. We had to start to practice this into our daily lives. Start to speak your mind more when you feel called to, right? Start to express yourself and you will notice you generate power within, even if people disagree with you, even if people are judging you. Now you are activating your heart. Now you are activating your spirit. And over time, it will manifest and people will see your heart. Yeah, they judged your first step. Yeah, they judged your second step. Maybe your third step, your fourth step, your fifth step. But by that 50th step, now you are illuminating, understand your essence is in its glory. And now you are an inspiration to them. And they are asking you, how did you do it? How did you do this thing? Or like, how did you transform your life? Or how did you start this YouTube channel? Or how can I do that? And now you can teach them, right? And you show them compassion. You don't say, nah, you didn't believe in me. <laughs> there was people who never believed in me. And I didn't blame them. Because I always said, how are you supposed to explain something that's never been done before? You've never been here before. This is the first time you are here in this body. So what you are going to do on this planet has never been done before. So how can that be explained at first? You just had to get in motion and do it. But this fear of other people judging us is holding us back. And it is ridiculous, you understand? It is ridiculous. We need to get in motion. We need to be mindful of our intentions. That's what I always do. If I upload a video and get negative comments or people hating on me, it doesn't bother me because I say, well, I know where my heart was. I'm just here to express myself, you understand, to have some fun, to spread some light. And if that bothers somebody else, they have the problem. Why would I allow their problem to stop what I am doing? Why would you allow someone else's problem with you, their negativity, which probably has nothing to do with you? They are just projecting their own insecurities or their own jealousy. Why would you allow that to stop you from becoming the best version of yourself? You don't have to. Let's remind ourselves right now that we are powerful. You understand? We are powerful. We have the strength. We have the courage. We have the creativity. We have the guidance. We have the guidance to get into action, to get into momentum. You understand? What other people may say should be the least of your worries. What you should be worried about is simply, is my heart in the right place? If it is in the right place, then go be you. Go be yourself, you understand? We are waiting to experience you. Remember, they are judging your first step. They are judging your steps, not your heart. Nobody can see what is within you. That's your responsibility to bring it out, bring it out and allow it 
to illuminate. I want everyone who has been doing this, who has been afraid of what people may think, you know, hop in the comment section and just say, I'm going to get into action. You understand? And I bet you people are going to comment on your comment and support you. You understand? Because as, as much as we think everyone is going to be so negative and people are going to point at us and people are, are going to disagree with us, there's going to be way more love. You understand? We just focus on the negativity. For some reason, it's how we are. Human beings, like you could have a hundred people love you and tell you you are amazing. One person says something negative and you focus on the negative. And that's what you are doing when you allow people to get in your way when you fear their judgment. If your heart is in the right place, there is no need to fear. You are allowing them to get in your own way and you are ignoring all the love, you understand? You have support. We are here to support you. Get in the comment section. I'm sure you have a friend, you have at least a family member. And if not, you support yourself and know that you are guided. And trust me, from someone who has done it themselves and is doing it themselves. I express my most deepest inner thoughts and feelings every single day. And in the beginning, people thought I was weird. I have been posting videos like this and like sharing my like my heart for five, six, six years since I like shifted and started talking to the camera. I've been doing it for six years and it's just in the last 18 months people have been tuning in. So for a good four years, nobody was paying attention people were like yeah he makes sense but what is he doing like what is a vibe thing like what is yeah. <laughs> but i said they can't see what is within my spirit just like they can't see what is within your spirit and that's why today is the day where you shift and you fear no more because your heart is in the right place and you're simply going to become the best version of yourself so you don't know in hindsight everything gonna be all right oh you really don't know we powered by yeah and it's a vibe thing again get in the comment section and let's support one another right those of us that want to start that youtube channel get in the comment section and say i'm going to start that youtube channel and support that individual and there's so many other things we all want to do. So let's be a community. Let's support one another. Remind ourselves that the more we become ourselves, the more we express ourselves, the ones that love us will come closer. And the ones that don't can simply move out the way. I'll see you soon, friends. Love.